So here's what the Supreme Court said. Number one, anything that a president does that is part of his core or official duties is completely immune. Now, completely immune here means completely immune because there are ways to try to get around immunity. So for example, you could say that Trump did so-and-so act and so-and-so act and so-and-so act. And even though we can't charge him for those acts, we can look at his underlying motivation for doing those acts. Let's say, for example, we can ascribe to him the motivation of wanting to overturn the election result in Georgia or wanting to overturn the election result nationwide. And by getting at his motive, we can somehow blame him for that, even though we can't actually get him on the acts themselves. And the Supreme Court says, no, you can't do that either. Not only are the acts out of bounds, the motives are out of bounds. And, um, and so this is a quite sweeping ruling because as we'll see, when you say that somebody's acts and motives are out of bounds, it means that even in another case, which doesn't directly bear on the president's official duties, if you have introduced official acts as part of your case to incriminate Trump, if you have introduced motives of President Trump uh, that are part of those official acts, all of that has now got to be put out of bounds. It's got to be invalidated. It's got to be removed as the basis of any decision. And so we're going to look at the different cases in a moment to see what impact this ruling is going to have on them. But let me finish with what the Supreme Court said. The Supreme Court also said there are other acts that a president will do officially, even th though they may not be part of his enumerated duties. The president's enumerated duties are not all laid out. So there are certain core functions, but there are other things you do as the president. And the Supreme Court said in those things, even if they're not part of his core functions, they deserve what the Supreme Court called presumptive immunity. So what does presumptive immunity mean? Well, it means you get the benefit of the doubt.